and it doesn't get wrinkled. It's a long intro to Blood and Wine. A really long. Your grace seems right at home in the saddle. Participants must find a unicorn's horn, a golden fish, and a phoenix egg. With these in hand, they can deduce where the hare, Milton, hides. You mean we need to find those things too? We've no other option, but time is of the essence, so we shall have to break the rules. On second thought, through here. I shall show you where the hunt plays out. Then we will split up. You will get hold of the unicorn horn and the golden fish. Hey, go. Yoshihara, Yoshi thanks for the sub. That will be quickest. Thanks a lot. Golden fish. Do I need a rod or a net? Please, Geralt. It's not a real fish. Thanks, thanks. Look there, towards the water. See the lights? The hunters are trying to hook the fish from boats. You must simply dive in and find it. The unicorn. How do I catch it? It's terribly skittish, true, but I'm sure you will find a way to earn its trust. It runs around over there, look. The Colton fish and the horn both contain things or clues that will help us find Milton. Once you have fish and horn, find me among the other Phoenix egg hunters. All clear? Then let's get to it. It's not at all it's clear, but whatever. Lucian. Oh. Three of the golden fish from the pond Look for the unicorn. That's closer, eh? But this is no true unicorn. Perhaps an apple will work, or some sweets. We would not be in this predicament, dear sister. Were you still a virgin? Do you really wish to have this conversation again? Here and now? Hush, or you'll spook the beast. We shall try this means. Hey, folks. Gonna have to ruin your fun. Sorry. Who's that? Cheating is what it is. Sirs, we must teach this scamp some proper sportsmanship. 
Listen, I didn't break any rules. True. He won fair and square. We were unlucky, that's all. We must try to grab the next clue. Gardens are huge. Be better off on horseback. Right, horseback. Close. In the fun day. Eh? What is this map doing to me? Unreal. Look! Scandalous! This one. There is another one on the left down there. There's four of them in a line, I don't see anything else. Hey, wait. Stop, it's important. King Cormorant Sire, accept this offering we bring. Prithee cast upon us your merciful eye and bear before us its secrets. As the moon is heavenly course, Doctrace, in my domain I await that moment of grace when a soul of good or ill repute brings me a gift, fitting tribute. <laughs> A key. I need one more level for that silver sword. 76. Meet the Duchess. It's already night. He's gonna die. If you please, Your Grace. We do not please. We act out of the highest necessity. All shall be explained later. 
but it's against the rules. I am the rules. Geralt, at last. Got a key and a clue. And I've another. Show me yours. Who wrote this drivel? I begin like a groan, hollowed out with ease, then end like a mouse with a head of hard cheese. <laughs> Got no idea where is Milton hiding. <laughs> that answer. <laughs> Some place crap. Uh, and like a mouse with a head of hard cheese. Got no idea where Milton's hiding. Oh. Mice and cheese. Palace pantry, maybe? No. The hare is obliged to hide here in the gardens. Look, if we take Roan, hollow it out and fill it with ease. The letters, that is. We get green. Then mouse, but starting with what heads heart cheese. Why, it's greenhouse. Hmm. Pretty clever. And it sounds right to me. There are several greenhouses in the gardens, but only one with a door that locks. And the key to it looks just like the one we found. Greenhouse it is then. Let's go. This DLC is also great, but I still like Hearts of Stone more. I'm here. This belonged to you, maybe? It did, but you may keep it. I have a new one. I do not know you. I've done you no harm. Yet first you butchered a Bruxa who was dear to me. Now you pursue me. Why? You've killed four innocent people, at least. And you? How many innocents have you cut down? I don't kill innocents. Murderers, though, you bet. I'll soon be done. I've but one left. And you, should you not stand down? And once you're done, intend to leave? Go kill somewhere else? No. I intend to live. Happily ever after. No! <laughs> I got I won't let you kill again. Yeah. <laughs> 
Come over here in the open. Come on. to stay where you are. Regenerate. I know you're in trouble. I can help. I'll help myself. No. He's my friend. Yes, Geralt. It's me. Regis? I... You all right? All is well. All's in order. Wounds such as these heal on vampires in moments. But we've not seen one another in ages, my friend. At least in human terms, that is. How's this even possible? Last I saw you... I was a bubbling, shapeless smear, having been rather spectacularly melted into a column of a certain castle. In somewhat better shape now, as you can see. Hardly peak form, mind you, but were I human, folk would think me a demigod, I dare say. I'm sorry. What happened, it was my fault. Never got a chance to apologize. No need, Geralt. Bygones. I did not have to join you on that expedition. No one twisted my arm. Miraculous regeneration. How do you manage it? I had help. From the one you hunt. Him? How? And what have you been doing all these years? Not the time nor place for such stories. I suspect we'll get a chance to speak at ease and at length later. Now, however, we must deal with the reason that brought us both here. So you being here, it's no coincidence? Your powers of deduction seem to have waned not one bit. I'm happy. I came here for Detlaf. I fear he's become entangled. Landed himself in serious trouble. So that's his name. He's your friend? You might call it that. Though Detlaf is... How would you humans put it? More bestial than I am. But not to worry. I'm working on him. Haven't exactly done a great job with that. He's killed one night since I got here. At least three others before I arrived. For good reason, I'm sure. Understand. Detlaf is not some decadent shit who kills for sport, or to assuage a dryness of throat or a dullness of mood. So in your opinion, what are his reasons? Precisely what I wish to find out. And then I will convince him of the error of his ways. Got a lot of faith in the guy. Despite appearances to the contrary, you two are quite alike. You've both noble hearts, yet you both are wont to perform ignoble deeds. When circumstances force you to, of course. Remember the year 964? <laughs> that was three centuries ago. Blind fear gripped Rivia, Lyria, and Spala. Women and children were dying. Their mutilated, dismembered corpses littered the fields. Brute of Lyria. Read about it. 
Chewed up almost 200, then fell to a common poacher supposedly armed with a dagger blessed by some prophet. It fell to Detlaf, who then found a poacher asleep in the brush near his snares and dropped the fiend's corpse at his feet. And thus, a legend was born. Rabbi, I told you play something new. Why do you replay? Just go and play something new. You have more bit, give it a shot. Huh. Vampires rarely help humans. Must have had his own agenda hunting the beast. You err. He slew it for one reason alone. The monster killed a lad who once in the street had offered Detlaf an apple. Expecting nothing in return. Terribly noble of him. You do not have a monopoly on altruism, my friend. Vilgefort melted my body. Detlaf found what was left. As per our codex, he had a choice. To leave me where I was, or to care for me and nurture my remains. He chose the latter. Regenerated me at no small expense in his own blood. Do you know what that means to a vampire? The gravity of the endeavor? Probably same thing it means to a human. You owe him your life. Much more than that. The act itself made us blood brethren. A bond so strong humans cannot even imagine. Which is why I know something ill is afoot. Always had an overdeveloped sense of empathy. Each vampire has a unique talent. One they hone over centuries. It's precisely what renders us so difficult to classify. Detlaf's trump card is his herd instinct, his tribal propensity. In point of fact, he prefers the company of lesser vampires and shuns that of humans. If he walks among you, killing egregiously, it can only mean something's upset him immensely. Anything specific? Some set of things that'd be likely to set him off? How should I say this? Detlaf doesn't understand men. Their world, its rules, its conventions. He's naive in a sense. He doesn't comprehend your games, knows not what it means to lie, deceive. Huh. Suggesting he's maladjusted, inventing his rage. I'm suggesting maladjustment can at times breed conflict. But is it the case this time? I cannot say, but intend to find out. Have you tried Doom 64, Rabbi? That one is worth it. And you can finish the cyberpunk. Gotta find him before something upsets him even more, and all Beauclair is awash with blood. Well, we share a cause then, just like the old days. Not entirely. I mean, when I find him, you know. I know you've a contract on his head. Yet your true task is to stop the beast killing, not necessarily to kill the beast, am I right? All in all, sure. Let us find him. By the time we do, I hope I'll have convinced you Detlaf is no monster. Fine, all right already. But for now, evidence is stacking up against him. Hear that? The posse. Knights must have tracked me here. I prefer they not find me here. I'd makeshift quarters at Mer Lachey's Long Cemetery. We'll meet there. See you. We flew here as fast as our courses would carry us. Yet I fear we're late all the same. Pray, where is the beast? Still investigating. About to inspect this site. Withdraw your men before they trample all over the evidence. <clears throat> Sirs, we must let the Witcher do his work. Milton's murder cannot go unoffensed. Run is done with Regis at Mayor Lacheslang Cemetery. I could go straight over there, yeah. I need to check the journal first. We got Corvobian. Yeah, Remnant is three hours long, you can finish that easily.
once more. I don't know where he is, to be honest. I guess all is fine with him. Shit. A lot of people, and when I say a lot, I mean a lot. I, I, uh, a lot of them are missing, you know. It's Corona. They're depressive. Nothing works. Lockdowns in the entire world. Don't shit! I'll walk on the fucking plank till I reach there. It doesn't matter. Sir, sir, a letter for you, sir. Letter? Who from? Can't rightly say, sir. I was just to deliver it. Here, and thanks. No, sir. Thank you. And I truly hope I'll be of service again. Dearest. I suspect weighty affairs, rather than merely the wine yeah, festival, but... have drawn you to Tucson. Perhaps you'll find time to probe a certain matter in spite of this. I recently came across the mention of one Professor Moreau, a scholar in Beauclair, who conducted research into Witcher mutations. Though the details are rather murky, as is the location of the scholar's laboratory, his journal could contain more information. It lies buried with him in his tomb. I enclose a map I found in the book I happened upon. Though less than completely legible, I trust it will prove useful nonetheless. I felt this matter could prove of some importance to you, thus I dispatched this letter without delay. Whatever you decide, Please take exceedingly good care of yourself. Your Yen. Hmm. A professor who studied Witcher mutations might actually be worth looking into. Turn and face the strange. I forget how big the sun was, goddammit. Play for days. Music is also great into some. Ah. Stock send the whip away those running rocks and the V. Might be worth looking into. Tune. Someone needs an escort. That's something I do often, but might be worth investigating. The exhibition of the Reginald Daugherty monuments will remain closed until further notice. Closed? Why, we wrote an entire day to see it. Oh. Now they're working. Don't this dare to think you've got power. They do. Man, everything works 24-7 in Tucson. The school of the wolf. Here in Tucson. Greeting. Geralt of Rivia. Seem pretty enthused. Got a job for me? Rather. Mind you, it's no monster hunt, but I'm sure you'll be interested all the same. 
I'm an armorer, see, and I've for years sought diagrams for witch armor of exceptional quality, Grandmaster level. Heard of them? Never seen any, though. Thought they were lost. Not quite. For I've been lucky enough to learn that their holders came to Tucson. Alas, they then perished, but I know where. I just need a partner to help me retrieve them. If you know where to look, why not get them yourself? No offense, but do I look like a rough-hewn adventurer? Besides, who would serve my clients while I romped about seeking them? No, I'd rather leave it to someone familiar with such matters. Bring me the diagrams, and from them I'll forge for you whatever you fancy. All these diagrams somehow wound up in Tusa. How is that even possible? Tusa was once home to Tien Sa'il, a legendary and now deceased elfin master armorer. Witches from all corners of the world came to him to forge their plate, their mail. Heard about him. Supposed to have been the best. And thus he charged a king's ransom for his work. Witches would uh, take difficult, dangerous work to earn the coin to pay him. Some, uh, alas, met with misfortune, and the diagrams they carried were left to rot with their earthly remains. Got it. Find them, find the diagrams. But how can I know where to look for their remains? As it happens, I learned my trade at Jensai's side. So I heard the stories of the missing witches firsthand. What he told me, well, that is what discouraged me from seeking the diagrams out myself. We must strike a deal. I shall tell you all I know. In return, once you found the diagrams, you will let me draft a copy. This elven master, how'd he end up taking a human for an apprentice? My father forged armor. As a youngster, I helped him, then began forging my own pieces. Master Tien Sa'il saw my work and offered to take me on as his apprentice. Only now, years on, do I realize the honor that was. Alas, my master perished in a massacre later, slain by racists. Though he taught me everything he knew, I did not manage to complete the guild's requirements for Grand Master while he lived. I know I have no equal in the trade. Yet, uh, until I complete Witcher armor of Grand Master quality, I shall never be certain I've become my teacher's equal. Where do I look for these diagrams? I know of five likely fallen witches, each from a different school, of the wolf, griffin, cat, bear, and manticore. Which should I start with? Tell me about my brother, the wolf. His name was Atom. I remember him well. My master liked him, helped him find a safe, yet well-paid contract. A few years ago, an archaeological expedition arrived in Tucson from Castel Gropia. They questioned my master about the elfin ruins at the Termes. He warned them of the danger there and recommended they take Aton as an escort. What kind of danger did he mean? Any idea? Legend claims wraiths haunt the chambers beneath Termes. I cannot say if there is any truth to this, but uh, both the scholars and the witcher disappeared without a trace. The Griffin. What can you tell me about him? He came some 200 years ago, but my master remembered him well. This witcher was not stripped of emotions, you see, as his colleagues were. He had taken on a contract at Fort Usa and required better gear. He showed my master his diagrams, paid a deposit, 
and was never seen again. Apparently, he rode off one night from the fort, never to return. Any idea where he went? No. It said he left in a rush, so he may have left something behind. Only ruins remain of Fort Usa, but you may wish to search them. Let's talk about the cat. A year ago, Bartolome Delaunay, the ducal armorer, asked me to confirm the authenticity of a Witcher diagram he had received by messenger. You see, at the time he was working on new armor for the ducal guard. A Witcher from the school of the cat offered to sell him diagrams for a full set of gear. The diagrams would have been helpful indeed. The diagram you saw, was it really a Witcher diagram? Beyond any doubt. It's a shame Delaunay didn't let me draft a copy. He was quite shaken up, afraid the Witcher might simply kill him and take his coin. Possibly a well-founded fear. Soon after, Delaunay disappeared without a trace. I would have searched his former home for clues, but it has fallen into disrepair, and it is simply too dangerous there. Tell me more about the bear, can you? He appeared shortly after Master Tiensail took me on as his apprentice. I remember the bear head medallion that uh, hung from his neck. I remember a towering witcher who haggled like a fishwife. <laughs> Witchers never have too much coin. True. This one clearly was not wealthy. But he pledged to bring us coin after he completed a contract at the Tufo Vineyard, where a building had just collapsed. Time passed, the bear never showed, and my master sent me to the Tufo estate. As it turned out, the Witcher had indeed accepted a job. Yet that was all they heard of him, and that is all I know. School of the Manticore. Probably know the least about it, though once, long ago, wore some armor forged there. My master said the Manticores have their fortress in the Far East. A century passed, one of their number came to him, a witcher named Merton. He made a poor impression on my master. He stank like a dwarf and still, and uh, quarreled fiercely all the time. Tien Sahil slammed the door in his face and told him to return when he sobered up. He would conduct no business with a drunk. The Witcher, however, failed to return. Folk say he got into a booze-fueled brawl with the Ducal Guard. He was arrested and sentenced. Bastoy Prison, where he was held, well, it's been a ruin for years. Still, you may want to start your search there. What do you have on offer? Okay. Very close to 76. Nice. Farewell. You shan't fight anything. Welcome, good. Show me where you. 
for the house. Another old cosmetics was this. Let's see you guys. So long. I stalk the land that you kissed us. They say a great deal about you, Witcher. <laughs> to be born in Tucson is to be born under a lucky star. There are so many quests here, it's fucking crazy. Uh. I've got the most. Ah, the serendipity. I'm so glad to be back. Show me what you have. That's the best steel, blue and yellow. Phil. No, see you later. What a joke. You're gonna wait. Let me see. Cormo Bianco. I think. No place like home. There are a lot of side quests in Tucson. I don't need to discover them all. Just look at this shit. Rewards for contracts. I wanna buy maps so I can fast travel. Welcome home, sir. I am Barnabas Basil Fauti. By order of the Duchess, I shall serve you as Major Domo of Corfo Bianco. I previously served with distinction at the Nibli family manor and in Nazaire with Admiral Rompali, who, as you are certain to know, is an extraordinary demanding gentleman. Whoa, Barnabas Basil. One thing you ought to know, I'm not your typical landed gentleman. Truth be told, this is the first real property I've ever owned. Oh, in that case, you must leave it all to me. I shall organize, see to everything, and whip the house into order. I dare say this place will soon be the most prosperous vineyard around. Great. Can already see I'm in good hands. Vineyard comes across as a place with a rich history. Know who owned it before me? Baron Rossell, who went bankrupt forcing him to sell the estate to the Duchess. The Baron, in turn, had purchased it from Monsieur Bolius of the Headsman, a truly colorful man of Ketweni origin. He was actually a Headsman? No, not him, but his great, great, great...
great, great grandfather. Indeed. Apparently, he was a common cut purse who somehow secured for himself the post of ducal headsman in Beauclair. Went about his work with an exceptional penchant. They say he chopped off more heads than there are grapevines in the ducal vineyards. He never hesitated, not once. Never sliced unevenly, never botched a job. For his exemplary service, the Duke granted him a title and this estate. Monsieur Volius, on the other hand, was an engineer in his younger years. Once retired, he settled here and took to producing wine. Sadly, misfortune struck and he lost his sense first of smell, then of taste. Additionally, he could not drink alcohol. His medic forbade it. Shame that. He gave up making wine? Not at all. He made even more of it. Began throwing wild balls to which he'd invite friends from far and wide in order to treat them to his wine and delight in the fact that at least someone could enjoy it. It's the sort of man he was, Monsieur Bolius. Mind giving me a little tour de Corvo Bianco? Not in the least. Follow me, please. I think it would be practical to begin on the hill. Behold, sir, your estate in all its splendor. Pretty vast. Indeed. And now, sir, allow me to show you a handful of interesting details. Follow me, please. You've been a major domo all your life? Yes, I come from a long line of major domos. My father was a major domo, as was my grandfather before him, as was my great aunt. In fact, she was the one to start the tradition. Great aunt? A hard woman. It is said that already as a child, she knew where she was going and went there. When she arrived in Beauclair, she signed on as a chambermaid at one of the vineyards, then slowly worked her way up to Major Domo. She dragged the rest of the family up the same path. The servants' quarters. I occupy the green home. With the Duchess's permission, I have hired a full staff. Their salaries to be paid from the ducal treasure. Nice of her. Not the most sightly part of the estate, I admit. But I think it's worthwhile for you as master of the domain to know where the help stays. A bushel of grapes is more a burden than that steel of yours. Baron Rossell ordered the vines in this part of the estate uprooted and olive groves planted in their place. They look beautiful, especially considering. Don't look at all bad now, either. Down below lies your vineyard, where we grow a strain of Carfaneri, one of the world's oldest. Aged in oak barrels, it provides for an exquisite wine with distinct blackberry, wild cherry, plum, and cinnamon notes. Marvelous. Have to try it one of these days. A man who dare not down some red is a man whose wife's like to Ooh. thump his head. Nice well. Picturesque. Yes, though it ran dry long ago. During the raucous feasts Master Bolius held, he would order it filled with wine. There's a tale about a guest attending a Bolius ball for the first time and thus unaware of the custom. He had suffered great heartbreak and had decided to end his life by jumping into the well. The festivities were coming to a close and the well was nearly empty when the suicidal guest finally jumped. Instead of killing himself, he nearly broke his legs. To numb the pain, he drank the wine. Drank himself to death? N not at all. When found the next day, he had concluded he'd witnessed twin miracles. The water had been changed into wine, and he had survived. He retired to a monastery in the Dragon Mountains and began preaching the wisdoms of Lebiodo.
Monsieur Bolius, his wife Nina, kept a garden here. A supremely lovely place it was. A bit neglected now. I agree. Yet nothing stands in the way of restoring it to its former glory and once again planting it with herbs and other vegetation. What is there to restore here? Yeah, there is everything that's great. <coughs> Madame Nina planted diminutive, delicate flowers and herbs here. One might say their aroma still hangs in the air. You're quite the romantic, Barnabas Basil. A man who dare not down some red is a man whose wife like to dump his head. This served as an additional wine cellar in years of plentiful harvests. Hmm. Bit of work and it'll make a fine stable for Roach. What's the side door, captain? Then she's mine! The cellars, voila. During Monsieur Bolis' time, wine was kept here, but Baron Rossell used it to store olive oil as well. I took the liberty of cleaning up the mess, which I made while fighting the Bruxa. Thanks, Barnabas Basil. Appreciate it. As you can see, the facade is, how to put it, slightly stained. But one cannot deny it, a certain subtle southern charm. True, though it could use a bit of subtle paint. Where are we going now? Now it's side. And welcome inside. On the left is the master bedroom. On the right, the dining hall and kitchen. Upstairs, you shall find the guest room, currently used for storage. Not a bad idea. At the moment, the house is only minimally furnished. Yet I believe we will, together, devise some innovative arrangements. A few paintings, for instance, would breathe new life into the abode immediately. With that, sir, you've seen the full lay of the land. Corfo Bianco is a beautiful estate. But one must admit, time has taken its toll. If Forgive me for being forward, but if you were to choose to invest a small sum towards its beautification, consider me at your service on the matter. Think I'll take you up on that. Be sure to come and see you if I decide to do any remodeling. Let's see that week. Mentioned the place could stand to be spruced up. Almost decidedly, sir. The question is where you would like to begin this rejuvenation. House. Been thinking about the outer walls. Maybe a fresh coat of paint or some patching. If I might dare to make a suggestion, why not start with a general renovation? I once oversaw such work at Admiral Rompelli's summer residence. Is this the third effects hello? were simply breathtaking. Yeah, hard to start is short. Did the residence positively short sparkle day. afterwards? Then plus hours the best value to display the Admiral's armor and weapons, of which he was a passionate collector. Bells. It's in your hands then. Make the place shine. I shall get to work immediately. Within a day's passing, I shall have sent for the crew which rebuffed the Admiral's residence. They are the finest specialists around. Highly skilled at what they do, it shall not take them too long, I wager. Two days after they begin, your eyes will behold your residence in its refurbished, rejuvenated, beautified state. Is there anything, anything else? Got these spacious grounds. Mm, but maybe it's time to make them more uh, 
useful. Oh, yes. We certainly should. The way I see things, given your trade, sir, you would be wise to put in a grindstone and an armorer's table. A good way to start things off, don't you think? My armor needs work from time to time. You know, oil this, reinforce that. Could use a decent work table where I could do all that. Admiral Rompali once hired a specialist who made the finest armorer's tables this side of the Yeruga. I will contact him at once. Good. Order me up a table like that. Immediately, sir. I expect it will take at most one day to arrive. Will you be needing anything else? In my trade, my blades get dull pretty quick. Could use a grindstone. Professional grade. Of course. No one would consider that an unnecessary extravagance, I would wager. Then send out for one, please. Of course. Seven thousand shorts so far. Will you be needing anything? Feels like by investing a bit of coin. I agree. Yet I would urge you to hold off on further construction until the ongoing work is done. Juggling can be a challenging art. Thanks. So, three days we need to wait until everything is restored. Alright. There's a trophy here. That is some more gear. All the quest books in the game. Man, all the books in the game also. Nice. I need to buy this painting, everything there is. Upstairs. It's a guest room. Store Corvo Bianco. Okay. Level seventy five. There is a treasure hunt at seventy seven. I'll do it once I'm seventy seven. Big game hunter. 74, is there 73 fist fights? Uh -huh. What else? Grave 72. Turn and face the strange. Where do we need to go for that? Uh, you know why they. Did the opposite of that transistor. I keep saying that to people, you know, for most of those old school PC games. When you want them to make them on all platforms, they need to make it work on a gamepad, okay? I imagine making a game to work perfectly well on a PC, not anger a PC audience and make it work with a gamepad. How many buttons do you got on the game pass? Alright. You need to delete most of the features. Majority of the features you need to delete that. Welcome. Mine. Great. Got my 
Thanks, Moro, Professor. Inscriptions in elder speech. Salvation lies not in Dolnevde, but in our hearts. Glory be to Eldarin. Damn. Professor's journal's long gone. Guess somebody else found out about it too. Should look around, see if I can find something else. Might wanna look around, so. <laughs> Professor certainly can't do much to help me with my search. Hey, that XP on level 76. I'm gonna come back there. Come here, your shit. Treasure hidden in a cemetery. We did that, eh? What's the level for that? Exploits of Selena's game. Nah, we do the professor. Narrow and shallow. Somebody small, light. Woman, maybe? Damn it, the trail breaks off. Wonder if the grave robber learned more than I did. Hmm, won't learn anything else here. Map Yen sent me will have to do. Also, Epitaph mentioned both Ellerin and Dolnevde, Valley of the Nine. Where's the map? Oh, map of the sun. Site marked on the maps all wet now. Saint Retour flows through there. Must be where the Valley of the Nine once lay. Need to explore the location. Shitting. I can't fast travel. No, with those oils, you have mods out to apply oils, okay? If you hate going into inventory to apply oils. So it's always out to apply oils before you enter the fight. You can do it like that. Easily. Why don't you all just get off my back? Oh. Check the 
either. Four. Does the word mean in Hello? Man. This is Fox. One maps. Second to worse. So long. Unbeatable Barkins. Preferential finance. From the Chalfanelli. Armor and every armor for me. So spirit will come to their shaking. Hey, it's Russian too. Are the rumors true? Are they all the ruins? Be careful, will you? Harlot's brute. It's a bear. Come on. There's an entrance here. Hundred mm -hmm. XP more. Pick me up. If there is anything around, seems not. I see the entrance though. What's that? This. Hey. 
Short pause, two minutes. Be right back.
Guys, have I shown you a Christmas tree here behind me? Two fucking meters, no, two and a half meters Christmas tree. Believe it or not. I just wait when my kids will get to destroy that thing. Alright. I have one Christmas tree in my bedroom, but it's a small one, like one meter, not more than that. And this fucking thing from two and a half meters, it goes to the ceiling. You know why I got them, you know? My wife, during lockdowns, she can't buy anything, she can't move anywhere, nothing works. She has an urge to spend money, so she found where to spend the money. On a fucking tree. For now, it's not down yet. Okay, my cats are still. They're still behaving. I don't know how long it will last, though. It already lasted longer than I expected. 24 hours now. That's really far more than I expected. There's a cave entrance here. What is this shit then? I wanna check the cave entrance too, I don't know what it is. Let's save just in case. What is this shit? outside the question is where outside it's a huge area it's really a huge area No, no, that's a portal. That over there, where the map leads me, that's a portal. And what I need is a key.
deal. Let's find the port. to the portal then. It's like a huge place to me. I know why. Man, I nearly got one shot here. Shut it. Holy shit.
Bloomberg. I came from there, yeah. What about behind? Before I go there? Whoa, 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 whoa. Literally fell. Blood soaked. Grave robber was wounded while attempting the climb. Needed to bandage up. Managed to avoid the Panthers at least. in the place a bit like this. Whoever was here must have scaled that wall, evaded the Panthers. Somehow. Crossbow, maybe? Could try to hit them. I'm missing two stones where the rest. Don't tell me it's all the way down, please. I'm listening to. Not bad. Wouldn't mind having something like that myself.
be in a previous room. But I doubt. Yeah. What are you doing? Jesus Christ, man. I, I say that. I've seen us still. I couldn't spot that. I haven't used Kiata to spot that. Just way too dark. Hmm. Interesting as places go. Seems someone put a lot of thought into its design. Should look around. Gargoyle sure don't look willing to help. That's all there is to it. Yes. 
started. Statues seem oddly oriented, as if to all face in one direction. The right portal, maybe? Yeah, the right. One direction. Direction, my yes. Yet. What are you facing at? That portal over there? This one. Must be where Moreau had his lab. Shit, level 76 switch. Legendary Viper Venomous Silver Sword. Thrones should I add? Robbie, come on. I don't want to play this cartoon. Oh, 
I'll deal with you. A bit of burning, a bit of bleeding. And perhaps attack power. Just like that. I should have had freeze also, maybe. I don't know. It doesn't matter. What matters is I'm 76. Finally. I believe it's a solid turn based, okay? I just can't play those cartoons, especially not those. whatever the fuck they call anime, eh? No, I can't. Crystals. Should mount them in the megascope. Or Missing two crystals. Giant centipedes. Got our centipedes in blood and wine. I <laughs> just remember now, god damn it. Check it out, Rabbi, check it out. What about that game from XCOM? What about that thing? and genetics. gonna be some fighting with centipedes here now I remember I haven't played for four years till I remember everything there is intriguing as machinery goes but how do I start it up I got one crystal preserved organs hope their donors weren't forced to give them up preserved organs hope their donors weren't forced to give them up The portal that's a way out. And you? Wait. Not here then. Not here then. I think it's a way out. Guessing this man didn't come here willingly. Crystal for this entry is missing. The eighteenth of Yule. Year 1102. Today I begin my great life's endeavor, one greater and more significant than any I have thus far undertaken, for it relates to me personally, to myself and my son. When 15 years passed, a beast of the forest assaulted me. A witcher came to my aid, saved my life. I could not know that for said salvation, I would in the end pay by relinquishing any say as to my own son's fate. Had I the skill to turn back time, I would have done so, and perished rather than surrender to the witches, my only son. But as it was, on the day when Jerome was taken, I swore an oath on my honor that I would recover my son. Today, following years of research and preparation, 
I have at last devised a device that allows me to study mutations. If the gods in their goodness grant me but a bit of favor, I shall find a way to reverse said mutations and restore Jerome to a normal life. So, Professor wasn't out to enhance Witcher mutations, wanted to reverse them. Wonder if he managed, and if there's anything in it for me. Observation number 30. The mutations do not set in at once. Curiously, they do not develop over a span of time. Rather, for a mutation to progress towards completion, the appropriate mutagen must be applied continuously. The subject does not bear this well, but I found a way to make the mutations less taxing, invasive. To the mutagen base, I add the albumin of a mutated giant centipede egg. Stored in a glass terrarium, the eggs do not develop. Remain small. The eggs themselves are a sight to behold. Mutated, they are luminescent, emitting a wondrous glow. I can only hope my addition of the albumin will produce no significant side effects. Time will tell. If I was not so far into The Witcher now, I would try it a bit. But then again, Cyberpunk is also very soon. So there's just not enough time. I want to finish this, you know, before Cyberpunk is out. Observation 58. Sometimes failure is the catalyst for success. I've discovered a method by which one type of mutagen may be transmuted into another through the addition of certain ingredients. This is a great day for science. In addition, I observed that today's dose of mutagens brought the subject to the brink of death. He then suddenly awoke, revived, his strength renewed. Not wholly, of course, but he did in a sense come back from the edge of death. Whether this is attributable to his mutations or to pure coincidence cannot be ascertained. I must conduct further experiments. <sighs> Years of experiments. Be such. Sacrifice. All for naught. I have failed to achieve my defined objective. Each mutation I applied to my subjects proved ineffective when applied to Jerome. What I meant to cure him of his witcherism. That which I meant to restore to him a normal life. Only deepened his mutations. Further augmented his speed and strength. Rendered him yet more inhuman. It seems my son must remain a witcher forever. I have failed. The time has come to abandon this place. Return home to Lydia. She may yet deign to take me back. The contraption and mutagens I leave here. Let them wither and crumble. As did my dreams of regaining my son. Hmm. So the professor wanted to reverse the mutation's effects. Ended up deepening them. Stroke of luck for me. Could profit from his failure. I can't summarize. So, professor tried to neutralize the effects of Witcher mutations. Only managed to enhance them, though. Used the albumins of giant centipede eggs as his mutagen base. Need to go on an egg hunt. That was a second one. Need to pick it. 